injure yourselves on a Sunday, please go see a doctor. On Monday. Please go. No. After they've had their Sunday roast. No. <laughs> Doctors love to have their Sunday roast. Don't interrupt a doctor's Sunday roast with your damaged wrist. Welcome, Welcome to the Kitchen to the, and George Show. The Kitchen and George Show. Oh my gosh, it's a very special episode. A very special a very episode. Very special story time episode. Welcome. You probably have been wondering because you've been watching videos and you've been like, what's going on with Jen's arm? And we haven't really given much clarifying information about that until now. How do you want to begin this? Right now, everyone, I have a broken wrist. It is my left wrist. I have this cast that fully basically immobilizes me from the elbow down, and it is hard. It looks soft. But it actually, looks soft because there's it's they, hard. This is like from the doctor. They like wrap it in ace bandage and stuff, but there's like fiberglass in here. And so we wanted to talk a little bit about that because people like hearing about injuries. And so we thought, why not tell you about mine? We should tell the whole story of what happened because I think it's very interesting how things like this sort of play out with you. Yeah, I think that's great. We'll start from the very beginning. About two weeks ago. Now I play on a lesbian softball team. What? We don't win many games, but we are very, very good at having fun playing softball. And I love my team very much. This particular game, I was the first batter at bat. I was top of the lineup. That means that she was the first batter. And I feel like that's usually where, you know, you put if you're confident in someone, you put them at the top of the lineup. Yeah. It was exciting for me. I didn't realize you were the top of the lineup. I was at the top of the lineup. Well, was that the, makes was, what happens next much more funny. This was the first play of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? What? But this was a double header, so it was the second game of the day. Oh my God. Though we did lose the first game. Did you lose the second game? No, we won. I go up to the plate. Now, even though I'm left-handed, I bat and play softball righty. So I go up to bat and the pitcher is like, she throws them high. First pitch, I let it go. Not interested in it, don't want it. Second pitch, I don't remember what happens. Third pitch though, it just like is a perfect pitch right to me. I swing, I hear the crack of the bat and I like know right away, I was like, all right, the best based on the way that felt, I was like, that's at least a single. So I'm really fast, right? Remember, this is, I'm fast. And I don't have a broken wrist at this point. This is like not here. I like take off towards first and my team is cheering for me. People are excited. You know, we don't win a lot. So it's like, you know, something happens. Eh. They throw the ball to first base. I'm already safe naturally, but they overthrow the ball. I run to second base. I don't know how, but I knew that it was going to be close. I slid. How did you slide? From the waist down, I was sliding perfectly. I slid how did you slide? beautifully, perfectly. Now what you're not supposed to do <laughs> is throw your hands down and smack them right on the ground when you slide because you're hitting the ground with a lot of force and you're usually running into it. Unfortunately, my left hand just <laughs> It broke. <laughs> Ew, it's smashed. Don't, don't attack me with your gross cast. It's, I know, it's, and we'll get there. So I'm safe at second, they've overthrown the ball. But Jen has already this injured point, herself. I already have a broken wrist, but yes. I was like, no, no, no. So I run to third, and I'm safe at third. Then um, the next batter hits a single, and I I take us home, baby. And then as soon as I get back to the dugout, I go, it's weird, my wrist is <laughs> not working. It's kind of f up. Like, just pretend this is my left wrist. I was like, what the sh is going on here? This hurts. Woo! Scored a run, though. Anyway, then the, the eventually the inning ends because we get some outs. I play left field. Jen stays in the game. Well, no, I was about to go stay in the game. And then I tried to put my glove on. It was so painful. I was like, thought I was gonna like puke a little bit. I was like, whoa, my wrist like really doesn't want to go in my glove. And so I ended up like getting an ice pack and taping it. And I was responsible. I pulled myself out of the game. I said, ladies, so that was a Sunday. Okay, so no, 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 no. You don't believe it's broken? I will show you the x-ray. This is a broken wrist. I do believe it's broken. And then what did you do after the game? I went home. I uh, smoked some of that sweet, sweet Mojo Jojo, and then I played video games for uh -huh. the rest of the day. Uh huh. That's Beat a couple of bosses in the old Elden Ring. <laughs> Interesting that that's the things you did. And it was like, and everybody told me you have to ice it and then keep it elevated. So keep in mind, even though it hurt, I've broken bones before, so I didn't assume it was broken. I kind of was like, something's up. But it's Jen didn't like go to the doctor, go to like urgent care. No. Go to the emergency room. No. The next day, so Jen rolls in here on Monday. Day, we're gonna film a video. Jen has a massive protuberance on her wrist. And I was just like, oh, what happened? And Jen goes, I sprained my wrist. And I was like, oh, well, did you see a doctor? And Jen goes, no. I don't wanna do that. And I was like, are you kidding me? I'm gonna tell you something now that I didn't tell you then. Like, I knew your wrist was broken. How did you, what do you mean? Well, I knew your wrist was broken by the way that you were behaving. And I also could tell from the fact that like, you weren't bruised, but you had like, right. physical it 
Womp. It was Worms like, it's broken. honestly really impressive how big it got. We do shoot the video, by the shoot way. Shoot the whole video. I like, I get everything set up. I'm like wincing a lot. Our friend Mia is there to help us get everything set Mia up. Mia and I are both like, this is insane. What are you doing? I'm working. I'm being a woman in STEM. <laughs> no, you're not. Right it's now. You're being... <laughs> you I'm you a woman. As for be... as long as I have this cast, I'm a woman in STEM. You needed to be a woman in Splint is what you needed to be. <laughs> so then I was just like, hey, are you going to go to urgent care after we finish shooting? And you gave me so much about that. Well, I just thought it was like a really invasive question. Uh, I believe in hypa. In what? <laughs> Are you trying to say hippa? Yeah. So anyway, so I go to urgent care. Oh my God. I get home from shooting the video. I have like a little 10, 15 minute breakdown where I'm screaming, crying, you know, in my house, just a little bit upset at the reality of the situation. Then I drive to urgent care. <laughs> a full like what, 36 hours after you injured yourself? Yeah. It was your left wrist and you are left handed. Yeah, that is the f part. Well, when I'm getting my wrist x-rayed, the nurse tech is like dead silent. And then she's like, all right, so go back to the room and the doctor's gonna come see you. And I was like, no. So I knew, I go back, I wait to the room, the doctor eventually comes in and he's like, yeah, it's a broken wrist. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna put the x-rays right here. Those thin lines, those are the fractures. So you got a, you got anyway, a temporary so cast. So I got a temporary cast and then I, I had to go see the bone doctor. And she's an orthopedic surgeon. Oh my surgeon. God, that was the other thing. Is that Jen was just like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, go see an orthopedic surgeon. Well, no, the doctor told me to go see an orthopedic surgeon. It's a little bit annoying because there's a lot of things I cannot do. I can't skateboard, I can't write. You can't drive. I can't type. I can't really cook great. I've seen the bone doctor. I get my cast switched out pretty soon. This is cast three because they basically switch it out, take new x-rays and then put like a new one on. It's pretty fast to get a cast. I was surprised. It's like 10 minutes they can cast you up. All right, so they just took the splint off. I can't really bend it much because it hurts, but I'll try to show. That is nasty. Even though I don't have the cast on, keeping it straight just really hurts. <laughs> I don't know how this is possible. It's like, it looks much thinner than this arm. What? So it's like, I feel like it's muscle like atrophying completely. Mm -hmm. And then like, oh, I didn't have a bruise previously. Now it's like bruised. And so uh, they took it off and I was like, oh, I'm so excited to have it off. And then I was like, no, put it, put, put that thing, put, put it back, put it where it came from, so help me. Basically what this is, so I can't unbend my arm because the bone that is broken runs from your wrist down to your elbow. So even though my bones down here are all fine, the doctor to promote healing basically just wanted to immobilize my entire wrist and forearm. So that's why I have such like an intense situation. But now that we're coming on week three, when I see the doctor this week, they're gonna take new x-rays and if everything looks good, there's a chance that I'm gonna get a, a cast that's only to my wrist, which means my forearm, I'll be able to bend mm. my elbow again, which will be really great. So how long are you gonna have this on your arm? I'm gonna be in a cast for at least another like Sorry. six weeks at total, but it's possible seven or eight maybe if it's not healing great, it smells bad. It just like, <laughs> it gets sweaty. It smells bad. You don't really feel clean. It's very uncomfortable. It hurts. I'm sorry. It's a pain in the ass. But I will say it is like a kind of interesting experience. So Ooh. there's gonna be videos coming out where I have a cast and just now you know what's going on with that. I'm really good at softball. It also means that the videos that we do are gonna be a little bit like chiller until we can yeah. get the cast off. We had some travel that we were maybe gonna do. We're gonna do all that stuff. But, but it's gonna have to wait until after this The cast video. comes off. Although. But you know what? Again, it's healing and it's gonna be fine and I'm grateful and I'm, I have good support. So it's, it's all good. But we just wanted to share and what was we learn. Honestly, we learned that like if you put me at the top of the lineup, I will score. Oh my god. So okay. start me next Bye, season. Cut. Bye everybody. Thanks for Bye. sticking around. We love you. We'll see you Bye. later. Stop, <laughs> gross. So update, I got back from the doctor and they took my cast off, which you saw. But good news. So this is week five after the break. I now have a removable brace. So I have to wear this all the time. I'm supposed to take it off only when I need to wash my hand or take a shower. But for quality of life, this is like a huge update and it's really exciting. I thought I was gonna get a new cast, but actually the doctor said brace for two weeks and then I might be ready to be free on my left wrist. So that's pretty exciting. What's cool is you can see in the x-ray from today, it doesn't look that much different from the x-ray when I first broke the wrist. You can still see the fractures in the bone, but the doctor said like, if you break a bone, the actual like fracture line will still show up on x-rays for a few months after the break. But the reason you can see that it's healing is when you look at an x-ray of a healing broken bone, the bone surrounding the break will get a lot brighter in color. It'll be a much brighter white than the rest of the bone. And it's a little bit hard to see, but on the x-ray from today, the surrounding area near the 
the break is a lot brighter and is a lot more bright white than it was a few weeks ago. So the bone is healing and I definitely have noticed a huge difference just in terms of like the pain I feel when I move. Yeah, so that's really exciting. In two weeks, I should be good to go. And you know, hopefully I'll be back to softball and other sports and other things pretty soon.